Hello. Hi. Hi. Should be a bit brighter today. I've made it bright because I watched the video the other day and it was not as bright as I wanted it to be. So I should be nice and bright today. I have a few pieces of equipment around here. You don't need all of these. It's just because I have all of them. If you have it, you need a low-ish board. And when I say low, I mean no higher than your shins. See, that's almost my ankle high, like halfway between my knee and my foot. Don't need to be any higher than that. It can be lower than that if it needs to be. So if you've got one of the tops off your um, benches, use the top of your bench with maybe one riser. That's it. You don't need to go any higher than that. Don't go for a huge bench because you won't be able to do what we're going to do unless you are like one of those plyometric awesomeness people who can just fly over things. If you're one of those people, do you. I'm just going to move this light because it's blinding me and I just want to make sure that it's lighting up that wall. Hello. So yeah, if you want to do that. Now, first of all, not getting too like spiritual, but I need you to check in with yourself. Just check in with yourself, how are you feeling? Do you feel like it's Friday already and it's only really whatever day it is? Because I do. I got up this morning, swear to God I thought it was Friday. Do you know what day it is here? Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. It's only Tuesday, you know, because I work on Sunday for Monday, uh, Saturday for, sun for Monday, Sunday for Tuesday, when Monday for Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. This should be Thursday for you, depending on what order you've done it. If it's not, yeah, don't worry about it, but you still need to check in because there's going to be a moment where you're going to have to decide are you putting on that vest or not. If you're doing push-ups and jumping over that board, can your chest handle it? Are you too tight in your chest because you did chest two days ago? If you are, I don't want you to put that on. This isn't a, oh, if I don't put my vest on, I'm not going to be working any harder. You've proved just by tagging me and looking at your burns, that just by upping your weights and having the freedom without, of your, without your vest, you are burning a shit ton of calories, aren't you? That goes to show that upping your weights is making you work differently. So although I'm gonna wear my vest today because I haven't worn it all week, it's because I need to mix it up a little bit. If it gets too much for me, I'm gonna take it off. And that's just gonna, that's just gonna be the way, because <laughs> it feels like Friday, you know what I'm saying? Because it feels like Friday, that's it. I don't need to say anymore. Um, this is how today's gonna roll. You're gonna need a medium to heavy set of weights. So I have got, this is what I've got. My 10 kilograms are there. I'm pretty sure, because I picked them up, <laughs> they're not gonna get a lot of use because <laughs> they felt heavy. <laughs> but I've got them and they're there. But I'm pretty sure the majority of what I'm going to use are my 7.5s, which is my medium weight. So you're going to need about a medium weight. If you feel like me, medium weight. So <laughs> you're going to need a snatch weight. I've got 15, which is my usual snatch weight. But when I picked it up today, it felt like 20. So that might be my snatch weight today. That's why I've got them. See what I mean? So I'm listening to my body. I'm seeing how I'm feeling. You need a swing. You need a swing weight. I've got my 40 pound kettlebell. And if you want to, you're gonna need your vest, that's it. Basically, a set of mediums, and you can use those mediums to swing with, that's it. So you can use them both to swing and do double swings. So if you are in somewhere that hasn't got a lot of equipment, or you don't have a lot of equipment yet, use your mediums and do what I'm doing with those weights, that's it. And a box if you've got one. If you don't have a box, you're gonna to have to modify and do some things on the floor which is fine, or you can do box steps like this. It's absolutely fine, I've done it in the past. Let's find something. What I don't want is you to put that box too high because if you do, it's gonna ruin this whole workout. So you need to make sure you can find something small. I'd rather you have no box than have a high box with this workout. Okay, I think I've talked enough to put this on. <laughs> ah! I'm glad it's brighter. When I watched the other one back, the other two, it's trying to never. When I watched the other two back, um, I was like, oh. So, um, very quickly, I'll just give you an update because a lot of you are asking me and sending me messages. There is a website coming. I am working on the website between coming here. This is an hour and a half some days away, depending on traffic to, from my, where I live. But it's very close to Teresa, and Teresa works a full-time job, so she can't really travel to me. 
So I've put myself where it's easy for Teresa to join in so she can take one or two days if she has it to take the pressure off me while I'm trying to get the website up and running. So if you are following me, you need to follow me on my Instagram because that will tell you, so it's the workout official, that will tell you when the website goes live. What will happen then is we will go from YouTube into the website and we will start with our 30 day challenge. What was the... <laughs> um, this room is the only room I could find that was available. I understand that there are a few technical things, the lighting is not as great as I want it to be. Um, sometimes it's a little bit noisy, I get that, that's why I come at, at night. I'm not trying to make excuses, but until I get the website up, I, d I don't have a wage coming in right now. So until I get the website up and running, I don't know my limits of what other spaces I could get. So it's only going to get better, it's only going to get, you know, I know a lot of you are like, it doesn't matter where you work out. I know I've done it on my back garden, I've done it everywhere, and it really doesn't matter where I work out, but I do want your experience to be as great as it can possibly be. And you can see me, you can hear me, you know, there's not people walking in. I would like that to happen in the future, if possible. I mean, it's been eight years. I deserve a room, right? <laughs> I deserve a room close to where I live. It's, that's, my, that's my goal. That's the only goal I have. Like, nothing else matters. <laughs> oh, think of the sleep I'm gonna get. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously though, this room is beautiful, but eventually, there will be a brighter space um, coming. So just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can, so just bear with me. But you need to make sure that you go to the Workout Official Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, just set one up, put it on private, and follow me anyway, so you can make sure that you follow um, everything. Okay, that's enough talking. I've got coffee. I've had everything I could possibly have to get me through this workout, because I'm not even kidding you. I'm. Just, so I'm so happy Teresa's filming tomorrow. Teresa's filming your Friday finish tomorrow. She was like, oh, I've got Thursday morning off. I was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> do you want to do the Friday? <laughs> do you want to do the Friday finish? Oh my God, this is so cool. So I get Wednesday off. I'm so happy. Not off, but I get to work on the website, which is great. And my, my legs get a rest because my legs are sore today. But I'm, I'm here. Cheers, everyone. Get yourself ready. Let's get on this. There's nowhere else I would rather be at half past nine on a Tuesday evening than with you. And that is the truth of it. Otherwise, I won't be doing this. Otherwise, I'd have just gone, oh God, no. Just gonna get a normal job. <laughs> but instead, just keep the madness going. Because I love you tagging me. I love seeing your results. I love training with you guys. Honest to God, it's the best. I'd rather be poor and do this than make millions and be living somewhere. But honestly, it's great. I love my job, honestly. I absolutely love it. So don't, even if I'm moaning, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, promise. You've got 15 seconds rest and a minute on. We're gonna start with our warm up. Our warm up is gonna be around the board. Now, a lot of you might not have used the board before. Let me explain very quickly. Your weight goes into the center of the board. You don't slam down like that. You're nice and light. And you are, <laughs> that is, that's horrible without the best. You're nice and light, and we are gonna really make sure that we're working and we get nice and warm. You've got a minute on, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna vest up. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm pretty sure the first 10 or 15 minutes is gonna feel horrendous, and then it's probably gonna get easier. I don't think so, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so, I have talked for officially Nine minutes, I did really well. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I need to really get... <sighs> Do you feel like that? Do you feel a bit nervous? I feel a bit nervous. Whew. Okay, let's just get it done. As soon as the time is going, it's just gotta get it done. 15 seconds. No, I need some chalk. So just wait there. get this on Beachbody or the DVDs. You don't get this, these behind the scenes glamorous moments. Eight seconds. I can't do it without chalk. So we're going to step off just like that. Just like that. Let's do it. I can see you. 
Take it nice and steady to start, please. Don't do anything crazy. Not doing that. 
You can't hear me doing that, listen. My knees are soft, like little springs. seconds to get back on that board. Sets of eight each side. Jump downs. March on the board. Eight this side. Three, two, one. Count it to yourself. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Over you go. Eight, Back. 
you like this. Five seconds. Woo! Two. Last one. Guess what's coming up now? You guessed it. Doubles. This is not your thing. You can always do skipping. I'm sweating. Doubles. Two. Over. Two. Over. Two. Over. feel like jelly. Shake it off. One side of your board. I'm not, I was going to do a straddle, but some of you, you've got wide boards and you won't be able to do it. So you're just going to tap. Just tap the board just like that. Let's go. Try and get some pace, speed. Get your arms in, imagine you're running down that track. Get that athletic speed going. Two more. Let's take a drink. It's very dry in here. I just need a drink. Don't worry about the time. I'll reset it. Walk around. Don't stop moving. I wish I put my hat on. This is going to be a sweaty one. This time, standing on the board, you need to be very careful with this one. You're going to come down, switch. Switch. Now, beginners, that's how it looks for you. Advance. You're going to come down. Or you can... Oh, I've done that for a long time. So you can tap and switch. I've done that for a long time. 12 seconds. Step used to be my class back in the day, if you don't know. Stand on the board. Let's go. Tap down. Weight on the board. Let's go. Next one. If you do have coordination, you're gonna step, change, tap down, step, change, tap down, step, step, change, step, change. 
toe. If you don't have coordination, step overs are for you. Step, change. Knee, change. Knee, change. Don't get yourself in a tiz. It's not worth it for a minute. Just go to step overs. section, one board section. That's how it's going to roll. Are you ready? I don't know if I am, but we're going to try our very best. So remember, beginners, you're going to take out the jump completely. You're just going to step. Everyone else, one, two, three, four, turn, jump, chop, turn, one, two, three, four. First one. Got it? Make sure you can see me. So, you can go um, sideways or forward or wherever you want. I'm gonna go forward as I can, because then you can see me. I'm just about to stop the camera there. Honey, I need this. You ready? I'm having a great time. To say I didn't want to do this workout, I'm loving it. I forget how much endorphins can get you through. One minute, add the tuck if you can. Don't worry about it if you can't, just step over. Three, two, one, four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Turn it, jump, top, turn it. One, two, three, four. Squat down, top, squat down, go. Land softly. Squat down, jump. Tuck if you can, squat down softly. That athletic jump is coming in today. The one we've been practicing. You're doing it in the best as well. And you're doing it. 20 seconds. Land softly. 10 seconds. Two, last one. Good times. Pick up your medium weights. Seven and a half for me. Stagger. Bicep curl. On a press. Go back down. Hammer curl. Go. Bicep curl. On a press. Go back down. Hammer curl. Good. Bicep curl. On a press. Bicep. Hammer, up, biceps, hold it, Arnold, come back down, hammer curl, good, bicep, Arnold press, we've got your fingers, come back down, hammer curl, good, warming up the arms, on the first round, come back down, Arnold, bicep, Arnold, hammer curl, bum under, bicep, hammer, yes, down, good times. Let's do it. You've got 14 seconds. Go. You might find when you're doing the weights, it might be easier. I'm absolutely dripping. Look, it's pouring off me. It might be easier to undo your vest and then tuck it back on. Watch. One. Two, three, four, jump on, other side. One, two, three, four. Turn it round, go. One, two, three, four. 
four, jump on. One, two, three, four, turning round. Start again. So you get eight on each side. What am I doing? One, two, three, four, jump on. One, two, three, sit back on that chair. Single flies into two bicep curls. Are you ready? Warming up the shoulders. Take off your, open your vest, it's easier. Let's go. Fly, fly, bicep or hammer. One, two, don't rush it please. Should be your max weight. Don't swing. Go. 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 I'm all biceps. You feel them endorphins rushing around your body? You should do. Put it down. Get yourself ready. We do those jumps again. Then we walk out into a push-up. So four jumps, jump on, jump off, walk out, push-ups. Get it. One, two, three, four, jump on. Tuck if you wish. Walk out, can you see me? Ish. Push-up. Come in, tuck, jump. Turn it around. One, two, three. Four. Add it up where you can. Walk out. Push up. Top. Turn it around. Jump. That's how it's looking. One, two, three, four. Jump on. Walk out. Push up. Top. Jump. Turn around. Woo! Let's do it again. Walk out, push up, walk back, push up, jump, turn it around, 180, time, undo your vest, how are you feeling? All right, well, elbows high, all right, well, all right, well, let's go, elbows high, Chest tall, look up. Weight's close to the body. Again, I'm using my mediums. I've undone my vest so it gives me more range of movement. Let's go. Breathe. Get those shoulders, elbows high. 27 seconds. Don't force it, just pick it up. That's all you've got to do. Just pick up that weight. In between the horrendous boredness that we've got going on. There's going to be lots of F words thrown at me after this one. I know it. Time, just grab a drink, dust yourself off. Grab a drink. Um, very quickly, I keep getting messages about diet and also about my equipment. I will do some coffee talks as soon as everything's settled down. All of that is coming. 
This time, push up, jump the board, push up, jump the board. We've done this one, if you've done hit max with me, you've done this one in the, the challenge, the week 14, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's like a different life. It's like a different life right now, but you've definitely done it with me. Are you ready? All the sweat is going into my nose, and then when I'm breathing, it's going all up my nose. I'm not snotty, it's all because I talk through my mouth. The sweat comes down, I'm just I'm not breathing through my nose. Are you ready? 15 seconds, push up, either walk over the board. If you are just walking over the board, I will push up this way, and then step over the board like that. I wouldn't go that way, because it's gonna be awkward. But if you are jumping, I would push up, jump the board, turn, so you're the right way to do it again. Yes. Like a basketballer. Like a baller. Are you ready? Five, four, two, one. Let's go. So you go down, push up, come close, come on, come turn, land softly, go back down. Be careful. I don't want any accidents. You've got to land softly. two mediums. Pick them up. Let's go. So, you're going to step on the board, press up, take it down. Down, I'm going to come this way so you can see me. Step, down. If you want to do a hammer curl on the way down, you absolutely can. If you want to hold, at the top and then step down, hold it, press, to make it harder, you absolutely can. Go. If you can't balance on the board, do it on the floor, but you should be good at this now. Shoulders might be a bit fatigued, I get that. And ten. Oh, you're done. Anyone else? Very, very sweaty. Back to the board. Just work yourself down if you need to. Oh my gosh. It is getting real in here. 
So back to the board, you're gonna put one foot on, you're gonna squat out, squat in, squat out, squat in. That's how it's gonna look. I'll come a little bit closer so I'm a bit so I can see your beady eyes. So I don't need to jump over it so I can. I like to see you. So ready? 15 seconds. Eight, seven, four, three, one foot on the board, this knee goes forward, squat in, squat out, squat in, sit back, make sure you're sitting back and not leaning forward, you're either going to feel it on this leg and the ass, or this quad, or both, it could be anything. Because depending on how far you go down, will depend on which muscles you're working. The further down you go, the more into your ass you're gonna be working. 24. Send some help, for God's sake, send some help. Nine. Seven, three, two, change sides. Oh, this leg, I hear ya. I hear ya. We're having a good time though, aren't we? Come on though. After the week we ride, you thought you had nothing else to give and look at ya. Look at what you're doing. Smashing it. Let's go. That's cause I know what I'm doing. You can always be nervous about pressing play with me because sometimes the beginning of a workout can seem daunting because you're tired and your brain is so locked in the day. But what you have to remember is unlike a DVD or unlike just a program that pushes out workouts every day for the sake of it, i.e. if you have like different trainers and each trainer does a different day, they don't know what you've done the day before. They have no idea what muscles are working, they're just giving you a workout to do whatever. They're not thinking about, oh yesterday we did upper body, uh, the day before that we did compact, they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about how to give you a workout that just meets the criteria, which makes you sweaty, which is great. But if you want to see results, like if you follow me on my Instagram and you follow the people that follow me, you'll see that they're posting guns and abs and legs and asses. That's because we're not just going through the motions every day. We are actually targeting different muscle parts every single day. And that's important. Sorry, talking. And that's important because your mediums, get your mediums. If you want to see changes in certain areas, it's okay jumping around, but it's like if you want to, if you want to build muscle, being a runner is not gonna do it because you're just breaking down the muscle, you need to know how to build it, where to build it, what to build. All of those things are very important. And when you're just checking in every day, and just checking in a workout that's not like us, then you don't know what you're getting, or you don't, unless it's a targeted plan, which you're following a natural plan, then that's different. But because I'm here, you never have to worry because I've done what you've done the day before. I will never give you anything that you can't do, because I'll know, because I'm here. Got it? Okay. Got it. I got it, Lise. <laughs> I know I go on a lot, I know I do. Okay, let's go. Let's row it. Three, two, one, let's row it back. Squeeze it back, squeeze it back. Make sure you've undone your vest so you can really pull those sh shoulder blades back. Stand up, single time, go. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the ass, lean forward. Weight in the heels, row up to the belly. Stand up, double. Whoo, let's go. Should be burning now, 20. Don't quit it, 15. Keep going. Keep gritting, 10 seconds, uh, two more, mm. drop it, uh, 
Look. That's the difference. That is the difference, my friend. Okay. This time, using your board, watch. You're gonna push up and then opposite knee to opposite hand if you can. If you are advanced, maybe you can kick through just like that. But when you go to that push up, I want you to get as low to that board as you can. If you can kick through, awesomeness. Got it? Brilliant. So, get ready. If you need to do it on the floor, do it on the floor. If you need to do it on your knees, do it on your knees. Undo your best, I would. It would just give you more flexibility. Let's go. Don't do that. It's the only problem with these step boards. The feet have got a mind of their own. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. So push up, touch the knee, go back right down, or kick through. Make sure you are over those arms, you are over that chest. 38. mountain climbs, jump the board. Put your vest together. Let's go. One. Jump on, jump up, take it back. Let's go. If you're finding that it's hurting your shoulders, try putting your hands straight on. Make sure you're over your shoulders and make sure you're rounding that belly so you tuck your bum under when you're doing your mountain climbs.
Make sure your hands are planted on that board. You're not going too high. You're just keeping them legs in the air to put a bit of pressure on the abs. Thirty. Shoulders. Don't let the ears come out. Absolutely pouring off me. Push up on the other side. I'm just gonna stop the timer because it's so dry in here. I just need a drink. Oh. I'm absolutely loving this workout and I don't know why because it's horrendous. Push ups. to the side. Are you ready? Fifteen seconds. You want to do your best if you want to. Remember you're going to be better on one side than you are on the other. That's absolutely normal. Get your beast mood on. Let's go. Take your time, there's no rush. Knees for your beginners, just like this. Onto your knees, come up, and if you can, just touch the knee. That's all I need you to do. Chest is getting serious now. It's getting real. How's yours feeling? Uh, mine is getting seriously real now. Uh, uh, oh God, what 15 seconds, I've got two more at least. Oh, oh my chest. Uh, uh, one more. Uh, uh, it's dripping off me. Oh my gosh. Just get your thoughts together. It's a big section that was. Put this back here. Okay. Let's look at what I've got written down. confident jumping over that board as in jumping over the whole thing you're going to jump on it and then over to the other side okay that's how it's going to look so uh, if you don't feel I'm just going to fasten this if you don't feel confident jumping over the board as in like an athletic move I want you to jump on and then jump off or if you don't feel comfortable doing that you're going to do step overs again okay Step over is always your go-to. But if you can, you're going to jump over the board. Okay? We're going to do a half burpee, then jump over the board, half burpee, jump over the board. That's how it's going to go. I know everything in your body does not want to do this, but you have to do it, because we're nearly done. <clears throat> Athletic moves, power through. Take off your vest if you feel like you're struggling now. Make sure this is close. Two, one, let's go. So you come down, half burpee, come in, jump over, turn it around, go. Please make sure that you are close to that board and you land softly. We did this the other day on the floor. Do you remember when we jumped over the floor? Well, this is next level with a vest working on that plyo 
plyometric for you. Making you an athlete. Land softly. I know some of you will be loving this. And some of you will hate it. And that is just how workouts go sometimes. Five seconds. Walk it out. Let's do it again. Whichever one you picked, do it. Let's go. Jump. Land softly. Let's go. Take off your best. If you want to, can you hear I'm landing softly? using your board. You are going to do some side push-ups. So one hand goes on the board, the other hand goes behind. You know, come up. You are just putting the emphasis on the hand that's on the board. This one is extra. So come down, come up. At beginners, come down, come up. Do it on the floor if you want to. Come down, come up. Go on our sides. If you want to make it harder, add a knee. Hard still. Add a touch. Maybe you should feel it in that arm on the board. You should be over the top of that board. That front arm shouldn't be doing anything but just helping you. 25 seconds. Stretch it out every time you need to. Let's go. Less than 10. What are we doing? What are we doing? Other side. I'm really there. I'm nearly up to abs. Let's go. Get yourself in position before you start. So you split your legs. You should be able to do that move with your arm over your shoulder. Let's go. Get the move first. Get the knee. Then touch the toe. Good. Just working differently. Using the body in different ways. Working each side independently. So no sides can get stronger than the other. Breathe, 10 seconds, one more at least. Oh God, I know you're swearing at me now. Three, two, last one. Take off your best. Take off your vest. You're so strong. I'm ridiculously proud of you. Some of those moves were athletic to the max. Like they are some serious proper moves right there. Like stuff that you are not seeing unless you go into an athletic like camp. Jumping over boards and stuff like that into a powerful 
I knew you could do it because we've been practicing with heavy and then explosive, so I know what you've got. I know what you should be able to do right now. If you've trained with me for a while, I know what you can do. There's a fear in your head that you can't do it, I get that. A lot of it is overcoming that, I understand that, but I know what you can do. Abs, you ready? Start with swings, because they work. Uh -uh. 10 seconds, we're nearly there. Best bit now, abs is the best bit. Let's go. Good. Make sure you are the center. You swing through. To the center. Advanced people, come up, turn the hips, take it back down. Up, turn the hips, take it back down. Up. If you can, don't take it down. Stay up, pushing it to the ceiling. Feel that bottom abs lifting you up until you feel just a little bit sick. I know it is. Twist it. Make 
Make sure you pull those arms in though to support your back. Keep going. Oh God, I can't do it. Feel sick. That's one. One we haven't done in a long time. Let's get some V abs in. I haven't done them in a long, long time. So you're going to come up, take it down. Make sure you are not leaning back and you are not bringing your knees in. You stay on your side and you concertina this bit into a V shape. That's how it looks. You just lift it and lower in through that side. If you want to make it harder, get back, V up. Get back, V up. What are we doing? My peak's on fire. 20 seconds, that's all. Fifteen. And Dee will be giving me some Fs on this. Five seconds. Won't you, Dee? You'll be giving me a load of F words on this one. I know you will. I'm just going to try and make this lit, lit up a little bit so you can, I know it's the last one but when I put it on Instagram it's so dark. Let's do the other side. Let's go. On to a B. So come up, take it back. Make sure you're on that side and it's those obliques that are lifting you up. You're squeezing them. Close your eyes, think about the muscles that you're working. Those obliques lifting up. Lift through the obliques. Sit back, lift through the obliques. Sit back, stay on that edge. Stay on that side body. 10 seconds. Two, and we're done. So done. Cat cow it for me. Oh my god. That was a serious workout. Oh, just have a minute. Oh my god. What did you think? I don't really know what happened, but it, it's happened. <laughs> it happened, and we did it. So yeah, horrendousness Monday, a little bit of interim, horrendousness Thursday. <laughs> Therese is gonna put, take you through your finish on Friday, and hopefully we might have some bonuses for you coming up as well if we get time. Let me know what you thought.